All right, let's go check out the new project from a high point. Let's get up here. Oh. What? What? What is this? Much better. Clap your hands if you believe. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of MapleCraft Server, and today we are gonna be working on the minigame thing that I've been working on for a while. It's been it's been like an episode or two since I last worked on this, and um I've done some progress. Like look at this. Ba boom bada bing! Oh I took a screenshot. Well look at this. This is I started working on this side and then um after I finished it, I'm like I really don't want to uh, work on it for a while, and then I skipped, uh, I, it's been like a week or so, and then today, I just rushed, built everything, did all the AND gates, did all the, the mechanisms, so this whole section is complete, all I have to do is run the signal to uh, the pistons below so it pushes you off into the pit of doom. So let's get a closer look on this type of stuff. So what's going on here is, um... There's three systems that are happening right now. There's the um, the push the button system. This system right here, if you hit the button with the arrow, then this, oh, there's actually two systems going on here. Sorry. So if you the first system is if you hit the button, this piston um, pushes up, and then this red redstone signal gets carried into this AND gate. And once all three buttons are pushed, these uh, torches turn off, and this torch turns. Wait, turns off. Oh, this is wrong. This is this is a little bit wrong. I gotta fix this. There we go. <laughs> it's fixed now. So once these three torches turn off, this torch turns on, and then it can carry the signal wherever I please, which will be the pistons that are below that push you off at the pad of doom. And the second system is the button pushing system. So there's a button down there that you push, so you, this thing uh, blocks the... Uh, the buttons so they have a chance to actually deflect the or not deflect but shield themselves from the arrows so that's pretty neat and how that works is um uh where's it at this there's three lines or vertical signals of redstone once you push the button this um this torch right here turns on turns on this contraption i think i showed this off in the last episode not sure but uh, this creates a lot of repeaters, so this shoots, and then this goes on, and then this goes off first. It's, it's a little bit complicated. It's probably easier if I showed you instead, which uh, I will. I will. So if I did this, take that out. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. So I gotta break this real fast. Ready? So that pushing pushes, and then there's a long signal that's a about three seconds or something like that, two or three seconds, then it retracts backwards. So it's not so overpowered, but you can spam it as much as you please. And um, the thing is, you gotta go get your arrows, which is another mechanic I've implement implemented. Implemented. So you gotta do some parkour to the middle, and you gotta push a button, and the arrow will pop out of this side. And you gotta go retrieve your arrow, and then the button resets so that's what I want to do so you just can't spam the button and get a billion arrows over here so uh, that's a way of doing it because um, I think that would be really neat let's hook that up today oh, I'm gonna hook. Yeah, let's go hook that up today but first I want to do this uh, the other and gate because this side is not complete and I want to do it on camera because um, I feel like if I I feel like I should do it on camera it's it's a good thing to have done on camera. And actually this is a terrible idea. I don't know if this will work. Will it work? Let's see. Uh abu. Yeah, it works. All right. So, oh gosh. So, there's a bug. I tried doing this with the redstone block, but the redstone block is acts like a bud uh bud switch. I don't know why that happens. It's a glitch in the game that should not be. Oh gosh. What 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 happened here? Oh, that's not good. This is not good at all. I gotta redo this section. We'll do that later. We'll we'll start these two AND gates first. So, um, 
yeah, there's a little bit glitch. If I replace this red stained clay with the redstone block, it just like it, it's a wonky decision. I don't know why that happens, but it's in the game and I gotta deal with it, so it's alright. So let's see. Redstone on camera, I feel like I do redstone very quietly. I think about a lot of things, so I do redstone. Like it's it's a it's like it's almost like a science. I, I consider redstone almost like a science, and I really like science. And, um more the chemistry of what a science because um it's just piecing things together, really. That's what science is all about. And if you just piece the things together, you'll get the outcome real easy. Sometimes it's complicated, sometimes it's not. Maybe you gotta bend the rules a little bit. But it's a pretty simple science. And if you guys are intimidated by redstone, don't be. It's really, it's pretty simple. If you get the hang of it, oh, you can't make a lot of money. Torches of wood, yeah, I do. Nice. And don't be intimidated by redstone. It's a really easy thing to learn. If you, if you like science, you'll like redstone. Well, that's how I think of it. it is. Think of it. It's almost like uh, I saw my friend a long time ago. Oh, that's not going to work. Uh, I was talking to my friend a long time ago, probably like a year ago, and he said it's more it's more like a, a electronic science, which I really find I really find that I really really find that <laughs> I really find that awesome, because redstone is just like I think that's what keeps me driving to play Minecraft. That's not gonna work. Oh hey, are you working? Okay good. Um, how am I gonna do this? I might have to use a half slab. Uh, let's build myself a work workbench because I don't want to go back down. Let's see, this is improvisation. See, this is what I mean. Like you gotta bend the rules a little bit. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. See, now the half slab won't block the signal from below, and both signals shall work. I'm gonna put a redstone repeater there just in case it doesn't mess up anything. Probably, I could put wire there and be safe, but uh, I'm just gonna be extra safe, extra extra safe. You know, gotta be that precaution guy. All right, and oh shoot, we can't we can't do that. Uh oh, yeah, we can't we can't do that. We just gotta put redstone a uh, redstone repeater there, and then run that down there. Uh yeah, I, I still need a repeater there. Yeah, there we go. Th then the, these two should work now. So if this guy hit, see that the redstone turns on. Are you for real? Why isn't that turning off? Huh. Okay, something is activating this. I think it's that redstone right there. Huh. I might have to reverse all of this redstone. Because I, I built that side very, like... This is, like, almost a produce-type side. Like, I built this, and it was a roughed-out shape. And I just pieced it all together really roughly. But that side, I cleared, cleaned it up. I did more slick things like this. Where I have it, like, back out and come back in. But that side, this side is very, 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 very rough. I, I should probably clean this up. But I'll clean this up. We'll be right back. All right, we need to take a little break from that badness of redstone. But last episode, I posted a cake, and I wonder if anybody actually put anything in here. Da, da, da. Oh, somebody did! Oh, wow! Someone did put a smiley face in chicken. That's awesome! Happy birthday, Cross Crosby, Chris. <laughs> Happy birthday, Torch. I don't have many things to give you, so here's free voucher to an apartment rebuild. Rebuilding in the apartment. Building gets what? Happy birthday, Torch. Don't have many things to give you, so there have three free vouchers to an apartment rebuilding if the apartment gets de destroyed again. Oh my goodness, by reading. Please try not to destroy it, just to claim it. Claim them. Sad face. Cosmos Crest. Seriously, dude? Apartment fixer voucher. That's awesome. <laughs> and I'm gonna assume <laughs> maybe armor type did this. I don't know, but that's awesome. My birthday too good. I should make this like the birthday building or something. Next birthday coming up. We're gonna leave this here for a little bit, and uh, we're gonna leave the cake here at least. Oh man, this cake right here. This is what I based it off of. Uh, so yeah, I need to go get some more supplies, and I'll meet you back at the red some place. I just wanted to show you real quick, this is our cow and sheep farm. It's really, really loud, but it does the job, you know what I'm saying. Uh, black and white, and black and, or brown and white, I don't know. Okay, we're back here, let's get out of this teleporting pond, and cheese, dude. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. You don't know how hard I cleaned this up. Oh my goodness, dude. It looks like a completely different contraption now. I fixed everything and I made everything more vertical. Or not vertical, sorry. Uh, more like... More like strips. Because having the big circle is takes a lot of room and I want to have... Uh, uh, I want to have space until that redstone block, so this, like, I want, like, a wall here almost. And it looks pretty good. <laughs> good. It could? It looks pretty good. And I really like this color coding as well. It looks awesome. I really like when people use colors in their redstone contraption, like, to indicate which is which. And I, I did something simple, but it looks pretty cool. I like it. It looks, it stands out. It's pretty awesome. You just chose yellow, orange, red. And, uh, turns out the piston thing... It's activating itself. When I push up uh, the piston and it hits the redstone signal, it's powering the piston, or the block is powering the piston below it, so it will never turn off. So I chose this method where you just shoot the, oh, hey, hey. Shoot this and then it just turns on straight up like that. Oh my gosh, this took forever. It took like, oh man, it's, it's, taken almost like half an hour or something like that to do this but now i gotta go clean up the other side and i don't think i'll have time to do the um arrow thing but i'll definitely do that next episode so this episode's more like a grasp on what is the red soul contraption behind all of this stuff are you kidding me oh what the little complications i've got this done oh man it's 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 a, this one's a little bit weird because uh, the redstone signal comes off the side, not the direct middle. Because if I did it off the direct middle, the uh, this whole system would get messed up. It, this one took a lot less time because it was already cleaned up. So, or except the it was already cleaned up except this side. I've redid this side, and oh, this look took a lot less time except that complication where I put the water bucket here. Oh man, that was terrible. But uh, it's finished now, and I think I think that's all. That's all there is for this episode, because uh, this is going to be rather long if it's uh, if I continue to do the arrow part. But now you know the basics of what this whole standing monster of redstone is now. And I cleaned it up, and this was a good episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching this episode of Maplecraft. You know, if you did like it, hit the like button, because for real, it helps us out. And YouTuber for real. I'm serious. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.